Good morning and welcome to the Good News Show. My name is Daryl and I'm bringing you our good news stories today. This month, we're talking about what it means to bounce back. When something knocks you down, you don't stay down. You get back up. That's what we call resilience. Resilience is getting back up when something knocks you down. It's not always easy to bounce back, but we can do it with God's help. We can figure out a way to reach the goal even when we're being bounced around, kind of like this. Now, talking about getting back up, did you know that the world record for the number of push-ups done by one person in one go is 10,705? <laughs> that must have taken a lot of resilience and a lot of training. So we thought we'd test one of our reporters' resilience today with push-ups. He's gone to the gym to see just how many he can do. And you girls and boys need to try and beat our reporter. See how many you can do. Are you ready to do some push-ups, everyone? Three, two, one. Very well done, boys and girls, and well done, Kawe. That was excellent. Remember this one thing. There's no way Minore would have started with 10,000 push-ups. He started off small and got stronger and stronger. And for us too, boys and girls, our resilience can grow. Now, we have a great story for you today coming from another reporter in another jail cell. Hmm, seems to be a trend here. Over to you, Asha. Good morning, Daryl and viewers. This is Asha reporting from another jail cell, but this time we are in Egypt. Last week, we told you about John and Peter in a jail cell over 2,000 years ago. Well, this story was even thousands of years before them. This was before the Israelites were even a nation. This story comes from near the beginning of the Bible in Genesis. And this is the story of Joseph. Have you heard of Joseph before? Well, Joseph, at first, his mom couldn't have any children for a long time. But then one day, she was able to have Joseph. Joseph's dad was so happy that he treated Joseph like the favorite son. This made the other sons from the other moms very angry. Hey, Joseph has really got too big for his boots. Right. To think of that dream, thinking he can lead us? Unbelievable. They got so envious. And you know what made their brothers even angrier? Well, Joseph had had an amazing vision from God where God promised Joseph that one day he would become a significant leader. And fortunately, instead of keeping this just to himself and his dad, he told all of his brothers, you can expect that that made them even more angry. They were so envious and fed up with Joseph that one day they even decided to sell him to some strangers as a slave and lie to their dad and say that Joseph was dead. I think we should kill him. Mm, why don't you rather sell him as a slave? Then you can make money out of him. Mm, that's actually a good idea. Can you imagine how Joseph felt, viewers? It was awful. 
he was sent far, far, far away from his home to a different nation, Egypt, where he didn't know anyone and he was a slave. It seemed like everything had just gone downhill. I know that God is still with me and I will trust in him. Yet Joseph still believed God was with him and this helped him to choose hope even when things were so incredibly difficult. You see, Joseph could have wondered how things could turn around from there. God had made him an incredible promise, but now it seemed like things had become worse instead of better. But somehow Joseph must have known that even when things got bad, God could still turn things around for his good. Joseph knew that God would still keep his promise. God had not abandoned him, even if his brothers had. And so Joseph chose to follow God in the difficult circumstances. And God gave him favor with the person he was working with. Joseph had been working for a man called Potiphar. And Joseph got promoted to the point where Joseph was running the whole of Potiphar's house. But it had started with Joseph choosing to realize that God was still with him in the situation. Joseph could even have joy. Because joy, folks, doesn't mean that everything is perfect. No, no, no. True joy comes from being in God's presence, knowing that we're loved by Him, knowing that we're chosen by Him, and knowing that God has good plans for us. Even in the darkest moments of Joseph's life, God had not left Joseph. Then something worse happened, viewers. Potiphar's wife did something evil. She had a big crush on Joseph, even though she was married, and she tried to get Joseph to do something sinful with her. But Joseph knew that he could trust God, and so he didn't want to do anything to dishonor God or to dishonor Potiphar. So he said no to Potiphar's wife, and this made Potiphar's wife angry. Oh, Joseph! No. <laughs> Joseph hurt me. What are you going to do about it, husband? What are you going to do? He must go to jail. Potiphar's wife was so angry that she lied and accused Joseph of hurting her. When Potiphar heard this, do you know what he did, viewers? He sent Joseph to prison. Things had just got very, very bad for Joseph again. Oh, no! What could he do? Well, even in that moment, Joseph knew that God was still with him. Even when people were treating him badly, God would still turn everything around for Joseph's good. And God would still fulfill his promise to Joseph. This gave Joseph the strength to get back up. This made Joseph resilient. And you know what, viewers? Things did get better for Joseph. God did turn things around in a dramatic turn of events. It would be good for you viewers to read this story for yourselves in Genesis and see all the amazing parts of Joseph's story. But one day, the leader of Egypt heard about a special gift Joseph had to be able to hear from God. So the leader sent for Joseph. And when Joseph was able to give the leader a message from God and interpret the leader's dream, do you know what happened, viewers? The leader promoted Joseph to be second in charge of all of Egypt. Joseph, in just one day, went from being a prisoner to the second most powerful man in Egypt. That is amazing. I can imagine that Joseph didn't know how God could turn things around when he was in the prison. It took a really long time, but still Joseph could stand strong because he trusted God. And that's something to remember always. Trusting God will help us to be resilient. Trusting God will help you get back up. Over to you, Daryl.
Thank you, Asha, for that incredible story. Girls and boys, if you're struggling to get back up again, remember that trusting God helps you be resilient. That's what helped Joseph to get back up each time he had major disappointments in his life. Maybe your friends have let you down. Maybe things haven't gone the way you expected. You need to know that God doesn't want bad things to happen. He doesn't want you to be hurt. But even when bad things happen, God can turn them around for your good, just like he did for Joseph. But what gave Joseph the strength to get back up and keep going was knowing that God had his back and God has your back too. So remember, trusting God helps you to get back up. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, that you are with us. Thank you that you can turn everything that was meant for bad into good. Thank you that because you promised us that you would never leave us, we can trust you. Please give us the strength to get back up even when we've been discouraged. Thank you that you love us more than we even realize. We love you too. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, God is with you and He will never let you down. Last thing, everybody, before we go, let's remember our memory verse for the month. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. Isaiah 40 verse 31. No matter what you're facing today, remember that you can trust God. He is trustworthy. That's all from me today. Over to you, worship team. When the going gets tough and I want to give up, I will trust in you. Because you're always going to lead, always going to lead, always going to lead me through. When I'm feeling overwhelmed and almost want to quit, I will not give in. Because you're giving me strength, giving me strength, the strength to start again. Singing, everybody, come on, let's keep going. Keep 